It takes a team to make the best decisions. Decisions we take can have a profound impact on our future. So it is essential that decisions made today are made with our long-term success in mind. We do not rely on individuals. Instead, we tap into a network of teams across the organization, harness the collective power, knowledge and experience within our ranks to chart the best path forward. We're here for the long run, and it takes a team to make the best decisions. Over the last 15 months, TK Tankers has been really busy. We've reacquired 27 vessels for a total cost of about half a billion dollars. The history of it is important. Previously, we weren't in as strong a financial position and we needed to raise liquidity in the company. We had put our ships on sale leasebacks. With the tanker market being very strong and the company doing really well, we've decided to repurchase those vessels. The first step is to say, do we have the capacity to do them? And then we start thinking about, well, should we do it? Is it in the company's best interest? I would start with a conversation with Kevin. Once Kevin is generally aligned that he thinks that's a good idea, then I start working very closely with Brody. Starting in 2022, we started using the cash that we had on the balance sheet to buy the vessels back. So instead of paying interest, you know, we could we could use our cash and just get rid of the financing altogether or refinance at a lower rate. To see if we have the capacity to repurchase, we do a lot of modeling. The financial planning and analysis team does a lot of work on forecasting a, a variety of scenarios for TK tankers going forward. One of the big benefits of doing a vessel repurchase will be the interest that we're saving. However, that impacts how much capital that we have available to use on our daily operations. So we have to make sure that there is enough set aside if we were ever need additional uh, capital. Given the size of these deals, it's important that the board um, signs off on them and they are actually required to approve them. So the board is an integral part of this process as well. Once it's been approved and we know that we want to do them, then it's really over to Anne who quarterbacks the papering of the deals and the doing of the contracts. And papering of the deal sounds simple, but there's a lot involved. It's quite simple from the Treasury team. You just decide you're going to end the leases, but there is a lot of paperwork. It's 10 to 12 forms per ship. So I work very closely with Treasury to make sure the financial information is correct, that they can position funds in good time. Treasury's focus is mainly on the cash flow logistics of the deal. In this situation, since we have cash, we will work with Anne to execute on escrow agreements. Our team will be the ones making the payment, and most of the funds are sitting in our short-term investments, so we line up all our investments to the date that we expect the payment to be made so that it's ready. Then I work with um, the rest of my insurance team, particularly Adina in Vancouver. Once she has the firm date, for the transactions, I will go ahead and request from our insurance revised policies. They will give us a set of sanctions checks that we have to do. Once we obtain the information required by the underwriters, we reach out to legal, uh, technical operations to gather all the info and then get the ball rolling. For the repurchase, the requests are very specific, but I usually work with um, the org charts, anything that needs to go out to the bank that they need to know what the structure of the company is like. If it's something like a resolution or POA or something like that, that's something my colleague does, to map of the paralegal. I provide support on governance matters, transactions, and with corporate entities, mindful that um, we have a certain number of hours to do that, and uh, mindful that things are ready in time for, uh, uh, for instance, Singapore opening and bank for closing. At the end of the day, each of us has a different perspective which we bring to the table. Each of us has a different expertise that we bring to the table. And that diversity of backgrounds and experience helps us get to the best outcomes. And there's no way that the outcome at the end of that is the same as we thought about it at the beginning. And ultimately, the outcome is better because we've had more people involved. We've had the discussions. We've challenged each other in a healthy way. And we've ultimately figured out what we think is the best path for the company.